I'm going to be talking about the battery installation and the solar installation on some of these secondhand units versus a new Kimberly unit that you might have. Now, if you find these videos helpful, I always ask you to please subscribe as it does help us a lot and we get a lot more videos up. What I'm going to be addressing today is the new AS 3001 standards that apply to your battery system and your solar system on the roof. Most Kimberly units do have a battery installation in the front box, so that's outside of the habitable area of the caravan, which is what these standards apply to. Some of the older units, like a Kimberly camper that opens up, will have AGM or lithium batteries under the bed, which is in the habitable area. So long as these standards applied to the standard of the time, you're okay. But if you're upgrading from AGM to lithium, or you're upgrading your battery system, you might hit some, some of the problems with the standards, which means that the lithium battery has to be either in an outside box that is dust proof, like this one is here, or you'll have to create a fully enclosed box in your lithium areas, in your habitable area, so it doesn't apply. As you can see, this unit does have a lithium iron phosphate battery in it. It is in that dust proof enclosed box, which is outside of the habitable area. These units are incredibly durable, they have a long life cycle, and they're very safe. Now, one of the things is that these units have been upgraded to the 48 volt system on the new units, which means that the wiring on it changes. So with these 12 volt batteries, because of the volts equals amps times ohms, when you have a 12 volt system, you have a higher friction rate. That's one of the benefits of moving over to the 48 volt system because you have less friction on it. Not that I'm suggesting you move your old unit up to a 48 volt system, but that's the benefit in the new units and why they've gone that way. It means that the wiring problems you have with losing voltage on really long wires is just eliminated. In the older systems, please come along inside. In the older systems, on any unit that's a pre-30th anniversary unit, this is why the cooktop was placed here right by the toilet unit. It meant that those wires were shorter so that you weren't losing voltage when you were using the cooktop. This is also the reason why the older units, anything pre-2018, probably had a diesel cooktop because you weren't using battery power and you just had a different system for cooking so that you had other energy sources. Kimberly has been wiring their solar panel in parallel for eons, and that means that each solar panel panel is individually linked so that if one solar panel is covered in shade, you still can use the other solar panels. It's kind of like a Christmas tree where if one light goes out, the rest of the lights don't go out. If one has a fault, it won't cause a fire on the rest. And that's why it's individually fused. So just one fuse pops out if there's a problem on that. That's how the new AS3001 standards applies to Kimberly campers, Kimberly caravans, Kimberly cruises, and our Stockman rovers. We are always focused on smart design and smart solutions. Come to us if you have any questions about using these units or upgrades, we're happy to help.